Hey everybody, Cyberknife here. Coming at you with a couple of pretty uh, pretty interesting Cromwell games had last night. Uh, Splatooning with Eric Teufelhund. And later on, uh, Jim Armorama stopped by in Platoon. We had a little nice... Uh, pretty much ran all the tiers from 3 to 10 and had some good games. But um, this is early in the evening, getting warmed up. We're going Cromwells. Uh, I recently moved my normal Cromwell crew up to Comet. So I'm kind of grinding six cents for the uh, commander. Time to roll out. I believe uh, Eric's in the same situation. We like to play mid here. I'm going to go into gun cam here. Uh, that's Eric over there. He likes to uh, play a little bit tighter in. We like to play the ridge line here. And I favor this side a little bit and kind of watch his flank. And then also I like to light to the back. You, I can usually get out to out to D-line pretty well lit. Catching another Cromwell early here, but he's down in the dip, so there's really no opportunity to take early shots at him, leading him a little bit, looking for him to pop. Got a good one. Next shot, way behind. Just not leading him enough. Somebody spins him out there. So no sixth sense, I'm going to back off that ridge line there. Make sure, I definitely was lit, but who knows, who knows who's looking at you. Snap a shot there without dial in, that went high and right. No problem with him there. I just got a little scrappy cleanup. I think Eric got most of his HP on that guy. So I'm going to move up here and try to light back to the C line, I guess. Now, all these guys down the trench, we don't have shots on, but anybody hanging back, and there will be some people hanging back. There we go. Gonna get a good look at how this this gun works. The round is a little floaty, not too bad. We're at 350 meters here. Fairly accurate. One right over him there. Punched right through his face there. A little bit of troll here, right over the Churchill's. Uh, Turret. No, no joy there. No real opportunities here, so I'm going to probably move up in a second, as I recall. Interesting how City played out there. Look at the look at how City's going on. They kind of got the Chi behind them there. The KV on 150. So Eric's moving in there to give them a hand. We're talking right now. He's uh, decided to go City, and I'm gonna split and handle this side. Nice thing about Cromwells is you can reinforce and help each other. crazy right here getting up this tight, but I did have a little place going. I had plenty of backup behind me, so I wasn't really worried about yellowing this. This is kind of like a ham move. This is a little hammy. But, you know, sometimes if you want to get the damage, you have to be willing to, you know, he's not very much alpha, and I'm essentially full health, so I don't really worry about that. Nah, here we go. I guess uh, at this point we pretty well wiped him out. There's an artillery left somewhere over here, and we've also got Eric battling that KV-1. So this one's essentially over. Uh, I just I'm gonna play it to the end just because it ended kind of funny. Uh, Eric told me that uh, I, it didn't look that great to me, but he said I pretty well saved his life here. He said this uh, I think this little uh, Bert is about to blap him, and uh, well we'll see how we we'll see if we can give him a hand here. We're in my view now. I'm just gonna do the rest from my view. Eric's low HP. The FV still full health. 
Eric takes one shot at him, FB is turning to shoot him. <laughs> we just we just go right in for the end ram there. You gotta love that. Anytime you can go for the ram, I always go for it. That's just you got to, it's fun. So anyway, let me just uh, uh, jump into the next one. I'm not going to bother to show the results screens on these. It's just, you know, whatever. None of them are that genius. And we're looking at the play, not really whatever. Well, I'll show it real quick. What the hell? All right, so anyway, uh, here's the end plates for this thing. Damn, don't you wish on the replays they would, you know, just put the end caps on the freaking replay so you don't have to go to World of Tank replays. I don't know. It's like World of Tank replays, <laughs> you know, pay them. Yeah, Jesus Christ. No one would even go to this site if they would just put the damn plates on the railing. Anyway, so we ended up with uh, not doing so so badly. Nothing amazing, you know. I don't know why. Everybody gets bummed out if you don't put these up, you know, and show all the information. So I don't really get too jacked up. But anyway, so that's that. Let's head on for the next one. It's not as, not as great for us, for sure. Watch this. This one's short. And yeah, so anyway, here is number two. Now this, I'm going to just crank through the 30 seconds so we get right to the, the heart of it. This is about a 3 minute and 20 second game, and I'll show you how you get a 3 minute and 20 second game at Tier 7. In a predominantly Tier 7 game, too. It's quite easy to do. Watch watch where we're at here. I'm going to, I'm basically taking it to mid, and we're basically going to, what we're going to do here is these first two Cromwells go running up the hill, and they're pretty good players. Our team is coming up, and normally what would happen is some people would go the way I'm going. Some people would fight for where, where the Cromwells are, fight for Lighthouse. Few will push around the corner. But we totally end up seeding this entire area red. So you don't even need to watch the game. I mean, right here, just for a second, mildly interesting. I realize I've got nobody following me up. I'm going for cover now. Watch this. It's pretty cool. They return fire. Woo! Right over my engine deck. Pretty cool. So anyway, here comes a VK on my right and some other guys. I'm not even aware of this yet. I'm still looking at this. Everybody basically stops and stares right here at this area looking at these Cromwells. And next thing you know, I'm getting a T25 enema. I'm in an untenable position. So I turn around to pretty much engage these guys. I'm dead. I mean, that's all there is to it. The Cromwells are still giving me exclusive attention. So I'm basically sandwiched in here. Everybody else has completely stopped. There's nothing I can do here. I mean, I am overextended for sure, but I don't know if this is a case of me being that far overextended or everybody else freezing to shoot at a target of opportunity. And essentially, watch what happens here. I'm just, you know, a better play probably would have been for me to pull forward and get in a couple more shots, but I was just hoping that, you know, I could... That they were a little bit farther away from me, the Cromwells, but the Type 58 ends up finishing me off. So here's the funny part. Just check this out now. I'm no, I'm gonna go the whole thing. Just looking at the mini map now. Just check out the mini map. You don't even need to look at anything else. You can see exactly what's happening here. We've seeded the high ground here, all the mid range, all here. And now all the enemy has to do is just sit here on this plateau. As soon as they quickly finish this up here, it's the game's already lost. They, you know, once that you're in a position like this, it's just going to happen. Just you know, bend over and get ready. Now their scouts move up to the ledge. Now they've got eyes on everything back here, and everybody sits here, and it's a, it's basically fish in a barrel now. <laughs> fish in a barrel. This is crazy. Just watch this. It's crazy. I mean, this is just regular time. I'm not even speeding this up. This is just insane. Watch the battle develop. Just you can see exactly where this is going to go. You don't. And this is what more people actually need to do in battle: is start paying attention to the map because you know that's. It doesn't matter if you win your little war and your one little, you know, your one little, uh, you know, kill box here. Win in the win the battle, you lose the war. And so it goes. Got a couple of kills there. The IS and the uh, 122 are doing pretty well. Can kick it up a little. We don't need to. It's just pretty grim. I mean, it's just these guys had no chance once we seeded that. So that's how that went. And everybody, uh, I think, will be okay if I don't show the end caps on that one. 
for our final selection, another Cromwell battle, and this time I think, yeah, Eric jumped in his fury. I don't have one myself, but I am told Eric says he thinks pretty much that it's pretty inferior to the regular EZ-8, and it's cool if you like the movie, but it's not really, you know, it's kind of a collector's item, not necessarily a must-have tank to play. Mm, I'm probably going to buy one probably at the last second for it goes off, I don't know. I kind of like to collect the, the weird rare tanks. I was one of the few fools that didn't buy a Type 59 before they uh, pulled it. So, I like to go... I like to go river. Listen to this guy. Listen to this. Doesn't that sound like a Ferrari? Look at this. This little ELC and, you know, come on, no drive, dude. But this guy's on full periscope driving. <laughs> it sounds like he's shifting through uh, through the gears at Monte Carlo. All right, so here we are. This is my favorite little spot. I, I, in a scouting vehicle, I'll go here a lot. In mediums, I'll go here a lot. Even if I plan on eventually going one line, sometimes I'll visit here first, just because it's free XP every time. You just you can't go wrong. You just clean up here. Gnome Fathers, huh? Gnome Fathers gun. I like it. I think he does a good job of that. It sounds pretty good to me. So I'm feeling pretty frisky, and I just want to push. And sometimes this is, I don't know, you know, there, this doesn't always work, but this is kind of my play style. I like to just kind of get stuck in, even in a medium. And when you're playing, le this is where XVM comes into play. I know for sure that I'm, you know, playing less experienced players, so just bully them. Just go in there and bully them. You don't have to, you know, play footsie with these guys all the time. You can go in here and just get stuck in. I'm going to back out here. That's kind of a bad spot because why get the ELC shots? T14 gets one at me. The ELC hit me for a 250. And I end up putting one more into him. Them off. So, you know, I lost a good portion of health, but we did just, I utterly broke that flank. I mean, if I hadn't have done that, that we would still be back there shooting, and, you know, I, I we probably won the game. I probably would have come out with more health. Look at that. I, I couldn't believe I was trying to type, and I uh, got a real sensitive uh, trigger mouse button, and I just dunked one to the ground. Pretty embarrassing. Anyway, uh, going for the birch now. I just like to break a flank sometimes, though. I mean, this is demoralizing. I traded 500 health, and now we're in their backfield, you know? I mean, that's that's not that's not a bad trade off 500 health, and now we're running free in their backfield. On the KV-1 now. there. I think I hit his turret or something, maybe Mantlet, who knows. Got a dicker box, look at this. He's, his ass is to me still, this dicker. This is his ass. I don't know it yet, but this is his ass. All of that, baby. Juice him! Juice that berry. Poor shot there. As for what the hell, he was disappearing, might as well try for the luck shot. You got plenty of ammo. Speaking of plenty of ammo, look how much uh, AP I shot. I got nine rounds left. I've, you know, he's going away. Yeah, I'll take that shot. It's a low percentage shot. In the old days, I would have never taken a shot like that. But, you know, why not? Why not? Every now and then, you'll get lucky and you'll get a kill out of it. And, you know, these rounds are cheap. I used to be really concerned with my... You know, my hit rate and all that. I used to have like an 80% hit rate, but my pants were once he screwed that up so bad that, you know, I don't even care anymore. But uh, anyway, that was the end of that. And let me hit the uh, final screens on that. Alright, so here we go with the end caps for that final game there. Ended up with a bruiser, whatever. I like all these. Yeah, I, I, I really do. I like these little, what do they call them? Battle honors, buttons, ribbons, whatever you want to call them. Pretty interesting. 
some of them are kind of cool. The one I like the best is uh, the scouting one. It's kind of hard to get. But uh, anyway, so we walk away with some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent, not too bad. Ended up high uh, XP on that one. But uh, anyway, not so bad. 22 shots, 17 hits, 15 pens. Eh, could do worse. Anyway, Cromwell, loving it. If you don't have one, pick it up. Uh, they're great. A lot of fun. And they're really fun when you play them in, in uh, platoons. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. Server Knife out.